Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Nittany Lions, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Black five, go! He's got his man across the middle, and he's tackled right away. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First and 10, ball on the 41. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Roger, Roger. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59, Mike is 59. He's hit and taken down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. And he tackles him hard at the 43. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Six-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Green nine, green nine. Green nine. Go. Going deep. Finds the man. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. About the 43 yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 43. And they got him for a loss. Loss of three on the play. That brings, that brings up second, second and 13. Tight left, tight left. Four down, four down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no, let's switch the mic right here. Go, Mike, four. Go, four. Orange side. They go right back to him, and he's met behind the line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're gonna come after this one. 
It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields it at the 17, and they push him out at the 28. Penn State's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this play. Yeah, and you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Caught, and he hits him hard at the 45. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Penn State is up a score. Down four. Green nine. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of four on one That makes it second and six. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Loss of seven yards on the ball. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. their own 32 yard line it's second down Black ball. he's taken down right around the 40. he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations pick up of a yard for the tailback Yard line. It's second down. And off inside. The running back gets two on the carry. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. quarter. Penn State's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Red two, orange three, orange three. Here's the give. He tackles him for a loss. That makes it fourth and eight. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Penn State is up by a touchdown. Brought down around the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. That makes it first and 10. He's going to air it long. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Fumble. Loose ball. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got an opening. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Mike 40, Mike 40. And two, he scrambled. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. Four down, four down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red seven, red seven. Motion, motion, motion. Got it. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 19. That last pass got him only a yard. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Kicks up, and he's got it. Wisconsin is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Nittany Lions offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Tackle at about. The 37-yard line. Number 12 brings him down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Penn State is up by four. There's a strike complete. He's down. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Black five. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 42. Quick throw out to the receiver. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Black five, black pick. Fires it out, and they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. That reception good for around four yards. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. 
Second down and six. Ball on the 42. The ball. The ball. Not here. Dog four. Orange three. Orange three. That's a great tackle at the 49. That's a loss of six yards. That'll make it third and 13. He might not be able to get the pass off. He chucks it downfield. Caught. Touchdown, Penn State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So we're just about ready to return to action. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall down. out a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Three down, three down. Hey, we're going Mike 40, Mike 40. Now he's flushed and they got it. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Three yards there on the play. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. He's out to the 30. He makes his way to about the 38. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From their own 38-yard line, first down. on the run. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 20, and he tackles him hard at the 17. Steps out of bounds at the 11-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. This offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. Look at his 
scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 12-yard line, third down. Red two. Now he's scrambling. Touchdown, Badgers. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he tacks on the extra point. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Penn State's up by four. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. If I had to guess, both quarterbacks sitting in the locker room right now, probably a little bit jumpy. Both these Wait, what was that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> both these guys have been hit and hit often in this game. How does... How does being sacked as many times as these guys have affect their play in the second half? Well, uh, coaches, defensive coaches always told me throughout my career that those early hits take a toll late on the quarterbacks. And, you know, once they – it's so easy to be sitting in the pocket in one read, two read, three reads, and you see quarter, quarterbacks buy time. When they start getting hit after their second read and right when they're getting to their third read, then they know in the back of their mind when they're stepping in that pocket – well, it might be coming again. So it, it makes the great quarterbacks, you know, even even gives them happy feet, makes them step up in the pocket and feel pressure that's not always there. So if you get to him, he feels that pressure, but it also puts a little bit of doubt in his head later on about that offensive protection. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Black five, black five, X seven. Go. Gets out to around the 38. going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 36-yard line, second down. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. That'll make it 35. We got try left, try left. Four down, four down. Check mic 40, check mic 40. Black five, black five. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black 
Under heavy pressure. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Penn State is up four. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 19. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Three down. Check 59. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X X seven. Here go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Hit Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays, it's like its own highlight film. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's that's what a dominant defensive player can do to an offense. They just can't. There's nothing they can do to stop. Him. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's brought down in the open field. Number seven makes the tackle. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. It's away and it's a booming punt. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Penn State holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That's a good time. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Got a 
man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. That's a team of 13 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. He steps up, heading for the corner. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. Penn State leads 14-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Penn State is up by four. Tackle made at the four-yard line. That's good for being at 10 yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, the offense is going to be in must-score mode, and the defense knows that if they can come up with just one more stop, that could seal the victory. at the 38. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. From their own 38 yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, the 10, and they tackle him at the five-yard line. Speed will get you noticed, but I guarantee you, it takes more than speed to succeed at this level or the next one. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Red two, green nine. Motion, motion. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Mike's 40, Mike's 40. Watch 20, check 20. Quad, quad, quad. Dog four. And go. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. 
It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. They'll go for two in this situation. Six-play, 74-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Goes right, picked off. four-yard line. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. From the 24-yard line, first down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's taken down at the 20. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 20-yard line. Dog four. He steps out right around the 18-yard line. That's a game of two on the ball. That brings up fourth and three. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Red, two, and go. Seven, seven. <laughs> right around the 14-yard line. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. One general rule in any game is hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Makes it to the 27. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 27. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And he throws it away. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It's the exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter and this one is a beauty and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. the 36 yard line it's first down and he's going to lose big yardage 
yards. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That'll bring up second and 15. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third down and a mile, and this is going to be hard to convert here. Fires it out. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Under a minute left. Now he tries to buy some time. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. And they won't get the two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes in the end zone, down for a touchback. Penn State's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. Plenty of time in the pocket. He decides to run with it. And they make the stop right around the 34. That brings up second and nine. Dog four. Green 15. Motion, motion. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Wisconsin 22, Penn State 21. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.